So I was just casually streaming when someone dropped in a Reddit leak that I hadn't seen. So naturally, like the fiend I am, I quickly leapt to discuss what this leak was. This was a really fun little one to read and I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below so feel free to comment. Also, we're trying to get to 16,000 subscribers by next week and if we do get there by next Tuesday, I will eat fish fingers and custard on stream. So if you want to help us get there, click subscribe. Okay, this is the, apparently this was posted to Reddit more as a joke, but we have a Reddit leak everybody. Yay. Should we read it? All right. You want to, you want to, is it Reddit leak time? Everyone, it is, it is. Okay, it's leak time, leak time. You ready? Okay, so this is apparently from Reddit. Uh, what is Roddit? Uh, Reddit's like a sort of chat forum thing. Spill the tea. Okay, so this was sent to me by Cyberman Alf. That I, I haven't seen this leak before. Apparently it was deleted a day after it was posted, so take this how you will. Uh, the orange spacesuit stuff is mostly the beginning because... Uh, so, the, so this is basically combining um, the centenary and the 60th stuff. So this is both... For all the centenary and the six years of spoilers, I guess. The orange space suit stuff is mostly in the beginning of the episode and causes Dan to leave the TARDIS. Back on Earth, he meets up with loads of classic companions, Tegan and Ace, obviously, but also Joe, I think K9 as well, but that's me confirmed, and even Ian. This does kind of tie into some rumors I've seen of, um, there was birds then, that does kind of tie into some rumors I've seen of like a, um, a companion support group of sorts, which would kind of back this up a little bit. Uh, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, and Sylvester McCoy do appear shocking, I know, but they're in Time Lord Rogue. Interesting. And with a variation of what, 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 after Jodie regenerates into Tenant, I feel like that's just a, a decent guess. Uh, the 60th, Special 2 is a wholesale adaptation of The Flood, but with a fun multi doc twist. The Slovene cameo in all three specials. Weirdly. Okay, that's an odd choice. I know that the, I know that Russell likes the Slitheen, but like, does he like them that much? I don't know. The toy maker mockingly sings Doctor in Distress at Tenant whilst dancing with him, to which he replies, yes, very funny. The funny thing is, you think I'm joking. I could actually see him doing that as a reference for a 16th anniversary. I can't even lie. We've even seen them dancing. I can picture the scene. I can, I can picture Neil Patrick Harris mockingly going, Doctor in Distress. And like, Ted Doctor like, yes, yes, very, very funny, but what's going on here now? Tell me. Like, yeah, I can just, I can just see that scene. Uh, there are plans for a lot more than just these three specials, but nothing has been finalized yet, so don't want to say, but get your hopes up, it doesn't happen. I'll be honest, it's, it's, this is a weird one because it's like, it kind of fits with some of the stuff I've heard, but then also it kind of just feels like educated gas work. Yeah, I'm not sure what you guys are thinking about that. Like, I could totally see the mockingly singing Doctor in Distress as a little reference. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, what you think about the, the Reddit leak. That'd be really interesting to see. I think we only get three specials. I think so too. Also, in regards to what I think about this actual, like, sort of leak thing, so I want to sort of delve into a couple of the specifics that I forgot to mention on stream. The idea of an adaptation of The Flood is a really cool one. I love the idea of adapting The Flood, of adapting The Flood. For those of you who don't know, it's a eighth Doctor comic story where uh, the Cybermen are basically fully taken over and it's absolutely fantastic. The Eighth Doctor uses the power of like the time vortex. It's a really cool story. And I can actually see a multi-doctor story being fashioned around it. And there have been rumors of the Cybermen, obviously with the whole Cybers account, which I think is fake, but I could still see the Cybermen factoring in, you know, as, as a big iconic bad in order to feature in the 60th. As for the Slitheen stuff, I feel like that is less likely, at least for every episode. I could definitely see them running into the Slitheen because they are one of RTD's favourites and they are kind of a stable of his era. Whether or not they actually will, I don't know. The Toymaker stuff, as I said, I could genuinely see him doing that as a little reference to the show. You know, Stranger references have occurred, like Moffat did crazy classic who references all the time. So I feel like a Doctor in Distress sort of reference in the 60th anniversary isn't that out there, as some people might think it is. But yeah, as I said, I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts on this video. Like this video if you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Tower Tower 2, Debs Iona, Shane Smith, Ree Keffin, Seb Lowndes, Jay Monroe, Hash Shandy Coot, Patrick Mewson, Simon Ashley, Steve Safaro, Andrew Townsend, Alex Robbins, Michael Dykes, Paul Bryden, Sam Yates, Michael Rhodes, Jerry the Meerkat, Heretic, Cameron Jefferson, John M, Andrew Evanson, JM97, Gallifrey and Rob, Cliff's Random Silliness, Kyle McCroy, Nova Wolf Gaming, Carol Jude, Mr. KNL, Autumn Matthews, Josh Rocks123, The Raggedy Jedi, Peter Davison, Elliot Clark. If you want to become a member, feel free to do so. It really helps out. You get exclusive posts, shout outs in every video, and even your own badge and custom emojis to use.